Hello, my name is Adam Cassidy and I'm a PLM application engineer here at Saratech. Today I'll be showing you how to export a Solid Edge assembly from Team Center. So I have Solid Edge open and I've logged in to Team Center. However, I do not currently have any models open in Solid Edge. That's important. To start off, we're going to go to File, Manage, Cache Assistant. And some of the actions that we'll be doing in here, we would not be able to do if we currently had models open. That's why I wanted to highlight that. Now what we're looking at is Solid Edge's Cache Assistant. This manages the cache of files that is stored locally on your machine. Whenever you open up a file that's managed in Team Center, a Solid Edge assembly, draft, part, etc. That file is downloaded from Team Center to this local cache, and then it's opened up and you work on it from there. Now this cache is managed, uh, it is uh, interactive with Team Center, so you don't want to interact with the cache directly. Instead, you use this cache assistant utility. You can see all of the files that I've previously opened, whether it was to view or work on them. Maybe I checked these out, maybe I didn't, but they're all downloaded locally here. If I wanted to export some of these, I could, but the easiest thing to do is to create a new workspace, which I can do with this button here. I'll call this my export workspace. This is now empty because this new workspace is essentially a new folder in my cache. So none of the models in the default folder, the default workspace are present here in the export workspace. Now I can download just the models that I'm interested in. So if I went and can close out of this and went back to Solid Edge and opened up files, they'd start downloading and populating here because I left this as my selected workspace. But I can also use the download button here to search for the particular assembly I want to export. And before I hit the download button, there's a few options I might want to check. Under my open options, I can verify I'm using the correct revision rule. This will control the revisions of the components of the assembly that are downloaded, just the same way as it does when you open an assembly in Solid Edge. But I also might want to check some of these download options. So downloading linked documents and drawings might be something I want to do as part of my export. I would also advise turning on read only. I'll show you what happens if you do not. But if you click here and turn on read only, that would be the better way of doing things. Since I did not, the top level height and pivot assembly is checked out to me by default. Now, this isn't really a problem. I could export things as is, but when I download things to my local cache, I like to make sure that everything is checked into Team Center so that I have a good understanding of what version, you know, what changes might have happened. Things that are checked out, you know, some, someone might uh, save something back to Team Center and overwrite the file that's in there with some change that I may or may not want. So, as a precautionary measure, I'm going to come in and check this in or ask some other user to check it in if it was checked into them. And once I'm satisfied that all of these files are the ones that I want to export, there's nothing missing. Uh, if there were other files I wanted to export that aren't present here, I could go download them and open those up. If I wanted to see some of the other columns, and some of the other information to verify if the item description is correct and all of those things, I could. But now that it's all set up the way that I like, I'm going to use the Create Package button. This button might be missing from your cache assistant. If it is, I will show you how to enable it at the end. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and create my package. I can pick the folder that I want to export to and then give this zip folder a name. This will zip up all of the files that are currently in my cache. 
and it'll place them in the location I exported to. So now I have this example export. And if I dig into it, I can see all those part files, sheet metal, uh, assembly, and even a, a draft that was picked up as well. And I could go ahead and hand this zip folder over to anyone who has a solid edge license but is not working into in Team Center, and they could open it up and work on those files or view them. Now that I'm done with my export, if I come back to my cache assistant, I can clear out this export cache. I'm doing this so that in the future, if I want to export some other files, this is already cleared up and, and ready to go. I'm not going to accidentally export other files that were in this cache with the newly opened files. And then I'll switch my workspace back to the default workspace that I use for my day to day work. That way, when I go to open up the files or assemblies that I've been commonly working on, it'll load them from the, this default workspaces cache first. Uh, which will save some time instead of downloading them freshly from Team Center. All right, so that's everything here. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to enable that uh, create package button in the cache assistant. We actually need to do this from Team Center. You can do it from the rich client or you can do it from Active Workspace, but you want to get to your Team Center preferences. So in the rich client, that's edit and then options. You'll get a window like this, and you want to switch to the search tab that's down here in the bottom left. If you are in Active Workspace, you can do uh, this from by logging in as an administrator, someone in the DBA account, and then changing to the Active Admin Workspace. If you have it configured in your Active Workspace environment, there will be a Preferences tile that you can click on to get the, to the same list of preferences. I'm going to search for seek underscore enable underscore create, and you'll find this preference here. Seek enable create package. As you can see, the description says when set to one, adds the create package command to the Solid Edge Cache Assistant toolbar. The default value is zero. So this may need to be updated for your environment if you're missing that button. To change this from a rich client, I would just hit edit, change my value, let's say to zero, and then save it back. I actually want this to stay as one, so I'll keep it as one. All right. That's everything I have for you today.